Oh, hi guys. Welcome back. So Notion just released another new but really important update. This one is centered around Notion's most important property, the relation. So let me explain through an example. So imagine your company is running three projects, Alpha, Infinity and Crystal. So Alpha is a finance transformation project, which is on maximum priority. Infinity is a digital transformation project, which is high priority. And of course, Crystal is a website redesign, which has medium priority. Let's assume that all of these projects are maintained in a database, which you can call as test projects. So along with this, I have created a set of sample tasks for each of these projects in another database that I've called as a test task list. So in this database, I've updated the project status using Notion's latest status property feature. It's lovely, isn't it? To update whether the project is on time or not, I've highlighted them as red, amber or green. This is just like any other project status report. Now the tasks are assigned to specific projects that I mentioned earlier, Alpha, Infinity or Crystal. Now I need to assign these tasks to these projects through a relation property. We've already created a two-way relation property between these test projects database and this test task list. This is just like before. There's no change to it. Now let's try linking them up. So if you click on the task link in the test projects database, you'll notice that all the test task lists pop up as usual. But that means that I have to look and tally each one of these tasks and reference out which projects they belong to manually. Now look at the magic here. If I click on the three dots, you'll notice that a new column pops up, which is hidden in relation. If you click on, say, the project name, which is what we want, we'll immediately highlight the project names against the project. You could do this for any of the other properties. So now selecting the record has become ever so easy. Once you select the records, they will automatically get assigned to the relation easily. As you assign them, they will disappear from the list and only the remaining records are reflecting now. Just to make sure you can keep scrolling down the list and you'll notice that you'll run out of records which are against the same project. Once completed, you can go back to the test tasks list and view the task project relation column and you see if any of the records have not been flagged off. So I'm quite sure that this was given as a feedback from a few clients who work closely with Notion on the business and on the team side. So this is quite a fundamental upgrade. But this feature is not only for teams, but for anybody who wants to work with relations and rollups, especially when there is a one-to-one -one or a one-to-many mapping that may be required. So if you are not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. If you like this video, consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace.